Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of uh, PSSC integration with Python. Uh, in this uh, session, we are going to discuss how we can retrieve the results from PSSC. So you need to first you need to understand this that uh, within PSSC the activities can be recorded, whereas results can't. I mean, uh, by, uh, by activity, we mean anything uh, which is basically the action within PSSC. For instance, if you are performing power flow, load flow analysis, load flow, load flow, performing the load flow is an activity. And as a result of this activity, we will get the voltage profile, the uh, load, uh, load flow on different transmission lines. These are the results. So activity or performing the load flow can be recorded with the help of uh, Python recording but the results cannot be. So the data retrieval from PSSC is basically the first step toward further analysis. So you performed one activity, you got the results. Now you need to retrieve those results from PSSC in order to perform further analysis on it, right? So the problem here is that these results cannot be recorded. There are no recording facility available within PSSC through which you can record these. So what you need to do, you have to uh, uh, perform this manually. So if you want to check the APIs which can be used for uh, performing uh, from uh, for the data retrieval, uh, you need to check chapter seven, eight, and nine of API uh, uh, book. And uh, where you can find this API book, you can find this API book in your uh, installation directory where PSSC installed and within the doc folder you are going to find this API.pdf. Just go to this and 7, 8 and 9, chapter 7, 8 and 9 are going to cover these uh, data retrieval uh, APIs. So before moving on, first we need to understand how a typical PSSC API looks like and how we can uh, use this uh, within our uh, 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 Python. So this is a typical uh, uh, page, uh, the snapshot which we have taken from uh, this uh, API uh, PDF uh, file. And if you will see, the important thing is here, you will see what is the definition. So what is this? This gives the introduction. What this API basically does. And our important is this Python command. How we can use this Python command in order to perform, uh, uh, perform the function which we want. And then what are the different arguments we need to pass. For instance, in this particular API, we do not need to pass any, uh, any argument. We need to give one input variable. And, and when we give this function, we will get the output. Uh, please be informed here that you will see only solved written here. But when you are implementing any API within uh, Python environment, you need to include PSSPY with it, right? Th this PSSPY is not included here. So uh, you have to include this uh, prior to performing this. And uh, once you solve this API, it says IVAL. So what kind of IVAL values you can get? These are mentioned here. So uh, these uh, IVAL values are going to help you understand uh, uh, what you are going to do with this uh, particular uh, API. So moving on. Uh, these are some basic uh, APIs which you can use for the basic information retrieval. For instance, you have a base case. You try to solve the base case. You got the, uh, you performed some analysis on your base case. You opened a base case. You created new generator, you new transmission lines. Then you solve the case. After solving the case, you want to check whether, uh, I mean, uh, how your case looks like whether the case has been solved, what is the base MVA which you selected, what are the system totals, these kind of things. This is the basic information. So you can get this information using these uh, typical APIs. And again, you have to look for instance, in this particular case, the SysTOT uh, API, it has uh, two input variables. So you need to provide two input variables. And similarly, you, uh, you need to provide one argument. And what kind of argument you can provide? This is a list of argument. So each argument is going to give you uh, a different type of result. For instance, SysTotal is basically give to, uh, going to give you the system total, overall system total, uh, megawatt, megawatts kind of thing uh, you are going to get from here. And uh, 
if you will pass the argument load it is going to give you the load total if you are going to pass the argument gen it is going to give you the generation uh, total and so on similarly uh, this single uh, element data retrieval apis can be used to fetch the data of the buses of the branches of the areas zones fact machine plant load so whatever element you have in your system this single element data retrieval will help you retrieve the data of one single element and some common functions which you can find are ar dat brn dat bus dat bus x and how does this work to give you an idea you see this is a typical uh, from the uh, 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 the spreadsheet view of pssc you will see the data in, uh, 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 written in, in this particular form so let's say you want to find the line charging so there is a function uh, or an api within pssc known as br and dat so how you are going to implement it you are going to write pssy.br and dat and then you are going to give the line details the from bus the to bus the circuit id once you have given this and then the argument in this case i want to see the line charging so the argument for line charging or the keyword for line charging is charg so when you pass this argument what you are going to get you are going to get the line charging of that particular transmission line similarly instead of uh, uh, line charging you want to see what is the rate c or rate a or rate b of that particular transmission line so the api is same the only thing is the argument the keyword so by changing the keyword you are uh, you will be fetching some other information so this gives you a uh, overall theory or the brief idea of how uh, we can uh, perform the single uh, element retrieval so what we are going to do is i am going to finish this video here this session here and come back with an, another session in which we are going to implement uh, some basic data retrieval uh, apis